Now to a CBS 46 exclusive. Tonight, many local theaters will be packed as a lot of people head out to check out the James Brown biopic, Get On Up. Brown was born in South Carolina, but the godfather of soul had deep ties to the Peach State. And we found a big one today. CBS 46's Bernard Watson spoke to one of the last people to see and talk to James Brown before he died nearly eight years ago. So Bernard at four, Mr. Moses White, talked about his relationship with Mr. Brown. What did he say about the movie? Well, Scott, let's just say he won't be one of the first people waiting in line to see the film. You see, White and James Brown weren't just business partners. They were friends. Their families were friends. And because of that, he is very protective of how the Godfather of Soul is portrayed. It's one of the most anticipated movies of the year, and it opened today. Have you seen it? No, and don't care to see it. I knew James Brown. I knew the real thing. Andre Moses White didn't just know the Godfather of Soul. They were close friends and business partners for nearly a half century. What was it like? Hanging with the Godfather of Soul. It was a trip. It was a full round the world 360. James Brown was my man, my main man. On December 23rd, 2006, White says he checked Brown into Crawford Long Hospital because he was feeling ill. Two days later, the musical genius died from congestive heart failure brought on by pneumonia. He was just 73. Even after all these years, White still has questions about what happened. When you look at the reports of Mr. Brown's uh, death, you can definitely see that cocaine was involved. And when you look at the inter entrance into the hospital, cocaine was not involved. So where was it brought into the picture? White also has questions about Brown's estate that some value at more than $100 million. It remains unsettled nearly eight years after his death. Last year, the South Carolina Supreme Court struck down a controversial settlement that would have put an end to multiple lawsuits filed by Brown's family, friends, and business associates. When you look at a will that was, was drawn up and not honored, and, pro and it's uh, over in the courts, and people have not uh, solved it, but yet you cherry-pick a part and take it the music, and give the rights to uh, someone to put in a, a movie. That doesn't make sense to me. When I get money. White likes to focus on the good times he had with Brown, like when the godfather of soul tried to convince White not to let White's son drive White's brand new luxury car. That's right. Get that boy out the car. Save his life. That boy, that boy, how old that boy? 15, he gonna get killed. James Brown was my friend. I love them. Now, White acknowledges Brown battled drug addiction, but he worries that will overshadow all the money, time, and effort he's put into encouraging young people to get an education. And one last note, White was also a friend and manager of Marvin Gaye and says he also talked to him shortly before he was gunned down.